Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we are going to see how do we create an account on AWS. Because as you know that Terraform needs a provider and in this course, we are going to use AWS as the provider. All right, so in this video, I'm going to tell you each and every step, how you can create it, what are the prerequisites to it and what are the details that you need, everything would be explained in this video. All right, and I have posted a similar video like that before, but in need of this video, this video is uh, very important. This step is very important because you are going to create your infrastructure on AWS using that. All right, so uh, before moving forward, please subscribe to the channel because it would really motivate me to create more content like this. So guys, let's dive into the demo part. So the first thing we require as a prerequisite is a stable internet connection because the transaction will happen from your card and if it fades away then there could be a problem okay so you should have a stable internet connection the second thing you require is an email id the functional email id in which you are going to receive an otp and then you are going to prove that you have that email id active okay and the last thing you want is a credit card and the most important thing on this credit card is that international transaction should be enabled and you haven't used it for creating an account on AWS before like you cannot create an account two times using the same card I mean that's the prerequisite all right and sometimes they go, go for debit card as well so you can use a credit card or a debit card whatever you feel like I chose credit card in this video all right so I hope you are ready with this and let's directly jump into the video okay so first of all we'll just take a look what exactly is available on AWS free tier account so you can go through Google and just type aws.amazon.free and you will be presented with this page. They have multiple types of offers, the free trials, the 12 months free and always free. So you can just Google out, like you can just go inside it and drill down and understand what exactly is the offerings. So explore top product categories. You can see that in the featured 12 months, always free trials is like Amazon 750 hours of EC2, 12 months free, 5 GB Amazon amazon s3 12 months free 12 months free 750 hours of amazon rds and this is something that you're going to get so these are the things that you can go through it if i'll expand it you'll find this in 12 months free what exactly is written always free this free tier offers do not automatically expire at the end of your 12 months aws free tier term but available to both existing and the new aws customers indefinitely and there is something known as trials these free trial tier offers a short term trial offer that starts from the time of the first usage begins once the trial period expires you simply pay standard pay as you go pay as you go means that if you're using for 10 hours a service you will pay for 10 hours if you delete it then you won't have to pay anything all right so you can go through this so let us just create an account uh, create a free account so you can just click on that or if you want to google you can write how to create a free account on aws that's all you have to type and you'll be presented with a few things let's just go over here sign up for a free account and create a free account just go over there so it is going to ask you a few things that you have to enter so you can sign into an existing account but we are here to create a new account so i'll just I think that should be fine i'll just verify the email address now you have to have this ready because otherwise you won't be able to see it so let me just grab that okay so this is something how it looks like i'll just have to copy this take it from here paste it over here and then verify so it's you your email address has been successfully verified so you have to give a user password so you can give a user password okay so this is the password continue step one of five and then it is going to ask you a credit card details so i'll be filling my credit card details over here my full name I'll be blurring the part where I do not want to leak my phone number or the email address. So I'll be just doing that. And then once that is done, I'll be just clicking on continue step. All right. So I'm filling the details right now. Also, this is a personal account. So personal for your own project. So just click on that before moving forward. Okay. Okay. So I have filled all the details, but I have 
remove that part so I'll just click on continue and then it is going to ask me a credit card or a debit card number the expiration the holders name and the CVV that's all it is going to ask me so I'll blur the part where I'm going to fill the details okay so once you have filled the details go to verify and continue I do not do you have a pan yes I do have a pan but I do not want to do that click on verify and continue and wait for some time it will redirect to you so it has started the payment and let's see what happens okay perfect so before you can use your AWS account you must verify your phone number when you continue the AWS automated system will contact you for a verification code so I'll just give for the I'll give my phone number over here and the security check B three C seven eight one send SMS Okay, this was wrong. Z G D S N five. So it is going to send me a verification code. Let's wait for that in my mobile phone. Okay, I got it. I think this should be it. Continue and let's wait for a few seconds. Perfect. So there are three accounts available. I'll just expand it a bit. Basic support developer support and business support so it is asking for $29 a month it is asking for $100 a month I'll be going for this one because I do not have that much of money right now all right so yeah complete the sign up and it should be done for you perfect congratulations thank you for signing up for AWS we are activating your account which should take a few minutes you will receive an email when this is complete so probably you'll be re uh, getting an email from uh, AWS and then once it's done and it, it can take up to like 24 hours to like few minutes to get the account activated all right so once this is done you can just click on that and then sign into the console again you have to go for the root user so you have to give your email id over here gmail.com next give the password over here i'll just give the password All right, let's sign in and let's see what happens over here. Perfect. So my account has been created. So by default, it is taking Tokyo. So you can select wherever you are. You can go to US East. You can go to North Virginia, Ohio or something, or you can go for Mumbai if it's the nearest to you, which, whichever you want to choose. Okay. So there are multiple services available, IEM, EC2, S3, RDS, and so on and so forth. If you want to go, go to billing dashboard and you can select a few things over here to see like what kind of billing is done you can check it every day whenever you use you can see a free tier written over here click on that and you will be watching there is no free tier services data available because you have not used it so every time you will use it make sure that you check it over here whether everything is fine or not otherwise money will be deducted from your system or your credit card okay that's the one thing that you need to remember so all right i hope you focus